Coming into season two, there is a lot happening. Uh, Lola, did you know where you were going to go in this season and how you were going to end up? You know, I know you guys have started filming uh, season three already, so you kind of know her future past that. Or we, oh, you haven't? No, no we, we don't. don't we don't even know, know anything. <laughs> what's happening uh, with that. <laughs> unless you know something. Yeah. Where, uh. I, I was just doing some Googling. Last night. I know nothing. <laughs> Did but did where uh season two go surprise you? Um uh I guess yes and no. I think we kind of had the the blueprint of the book, which um, you know, Jenny is such a so dedicated to um staying true to her work and just making like bringing that vision to life while keeping the heart of the book. And I think um it was really special to have that. So I kind of knew in that sense, but also I think there were so many um, there were so many new things and added added uh, like like just her relationships with the boys are slightly different than they are in the books, especially coming off of season one. Um, so I kind of feel like yes, we kind of had most of the scripts at the beginning, but. You never really, I, I don't know, it's its all kind of a journey with the character. So you I feel yeah. like you never really know where where you'll end up. Um, and it was really fun to to go on that journey as with Belly and yeah. with, with you. I mean, you can also like, you can even do as much work as you want on a script beforehand. It, it all kind of changes the moment you step into the space and actually start Absolutely. doing it, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Sean, this season, you have a whole new romance that was kind of hinted at last season with Rain's character, Taylor. Um, how do you think Sean has uh, how do you think, not Sean, <laughs> You're good, how do you think your character has grown from his previous relationship with Shayla? Yeah. And does that growth translate to his relationship with Taylor? I think so. I think, uh, if anything, um, Susanna's death has kind of shown that there's a lot of stuff from the past that he needs to look at. Uh, he needs to take a second to look around who's really kind of been there um, all his life and his who's been next to him. And I think such a shocking event uh, kind of brings everything back to reality and he looks to his side and sees a person that had, has been with him for the whole time. And so I think he's learned a lot from his relationship with Shayla. I don't think he forgets it. I don't think he uh, pushes it to the side, but I think he also understands that to make amends and to have a good relationship with somebody else, you must learn from your past and you must acknowledge it, you know? Mm -hmm. And obviously, um, everyone in the show is dealing with the loss of Susanna, Susanna in their own way. But I think it's, um, I wish that we had more of Belly and Steven's reaction because they obviously they grew up with Susanna um, and saw her every summer. But how do you think her death affected them? Um, and did you, how did you um, process that? And Lola, I'll start with you for that one. You know, I think in their family, um, and this is sort of Laurel's battle throughout the season, but it seems like for the most part, they sort of deal with things on their own um, and they have trouble kind of coming together and and grieving together. Um, and so I think, especially at the beginning of the season, um, Belly was really living in that, in her own world, her own headspace, not really wanting to interact with anyone else and not feeling like anyone else could really understand her experience because I don't think Steven ever reached out and said, mm -hmm. hey, I understand that experience. And I don't think Laurel ever reached out and said, hey, I understand that because they were all trying to sort of be strong for each other um, and to move forward in their own ways. Um, and I think it's really beautiful to see Stephen and Belly a little bit later into the season, maybe like episode three or four when Stephen mm -hmm. gets to the summer house and Belly just says to him, like, I'm glad you're here. Mm -hmm. They do need each other and they do lean on each other, even if it's in smaller ways like that. Yeah. Um, it's important to be there for each other. And I think they both need that. Yeah. Even when they don't show it, you yeah. know, just it's that small, like one word thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. I mean, so I'm asking this question to everybody, and I'm curious to hear your guys' answer. Um, who do you guys think you personally, not your characters, uh, think that Belly should end up with? <laughs> <laughs> Sean is uh, very hard to distinguish from Steven sometimes, uh, being an older brother myself. So Sean is 
always and will be Team Belly, which I know <laughs> ain't the answer people want to hear, but I, uh, as an older brother, just want like my little sis to be happy. Like, and whoever that is, whether it's nobody or somebody, I just want you to be happy. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like as cast members, like as as people and not our characters, it's much like harder to be like, you should be with this boy, you should be with that boy, especially because we do see so much of Belly's inner battle and like how much she goes back and forth because th there's not like a, you know, one perfect person all the time. It's, it's messy and that's life. And um, so I think... I think it makes sense to be Team Belly and to to ultimately be like, you know what? Follow your heart. Follow your heart. See where it takes you. You're young. You got time. <laughs> As I'm like three years old. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, yeah. Team Belly all the way. Yeah, around. I mean, I agree 100%. I like that Laurel's like, I want you to have many lovers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you so much for speaking with me. Um, I really liked this season. I thought it was a great, uh, great follow up to the first season. And I can't wait to see where you guys go in the future. Thank uh, you. Yeah, thank you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.